And and you're you're um you're, you're a fifth degree black belt right now, right? Sixth degree. Sixth degree. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Next oh, up for me awesome. is cor- coral belt, but you know, we'll wait a little bit longer. Okay, but do you have you practiced uh, judo? Because I know you, I think you have a uh, uh, you, you've done some judo before, right? Well, I read in my play. I opened up um, the first uh, BJJ gym in the East Coast, mm-hmm. and um, I read space to the Philadelphia Judo Club, which is the oldest judo club in the United States. It's the oldest martial arts club in the United States. It was started by a very venerable Japanese uh, pre-World War II. So it, it, it has the distinction of being the oldest martial arts club in the USA. Mm-hmm. And um, they lost their lease at the YMCA in Philadelphia, and they were looking for a space. So I offered some space in my club. So we had the original BJJ uh, club, and then we had the Philadelphia Judo Club. And then later on, we had a couple of twin brothers that were into Muay Thai that were also uh, ex-NCAA wrestlers. They started teaching uh, stand-up striking also. So we had Judo and Jiu-Jitsu and striking. And this is way before the UFC. <laughs> this is okay, before, okay. you know, 93 is when Horian came up with the idea for the first UFC. So we're talking about like 91, 92 and around that era. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I understand. And it was also new one. You know, it was really funny because people would come in and want to fight it. You know, because Horian had the Gracie Challenge where mm-hmm. anyone that outside our style can beat us will give you $10,000. And we had guys showing up at our doorstep. And, you know, we were, uh, you know, I'd say, look, you want to go fight the Gracies, not me. I'm only... I'm only a blue belt, or later I'm only a purple belt, you know? Uh-huh. I'm not a Gracie. I don't have any challenge out there. I'm just trying to learn this stuff. But we would set up a camera, and we'd take these guys on, and sure enough, it always was like clockwork. If they didn't know, you know, any jujitsu at all, it was pretty easy pickings to tell the guys on this trip. But but they came in because of the of the ten thousand dollars. They were like, okay, this is uh. This nah, is nah, they just they just heard how how formidable jujitsu is, and you know they just want to come in and 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 it was always um, guys in they'd always say, well, we'd like a style comparison. Mm-hmm. Ah, say, okay. What do you do? Well, it'd be blah blah blah. Well, do you kick? Yeah. Do you punch? Yeah. So you want to come in and you want to fight me? You want to kick and punch me, right? Well, yeah, but a style comparison. No, no, no. <laughs> you want to you want to fight, yes? And then when they finally admit that they wanted to fight, we'd go. Okay, and, uh, okay. You know, with my wrestling takedowns, it's pretty easy to close the gap and mm-hmm. get the clinch. And I, I had pretty good takedowns back in the day. I was still a little bit more agile than I am now. So I, I could always pretty much put these guys down on the ground. And uh, it almost always ended up the same way. You know, clinch, take them down, mount slap them a few times, they turn over, choke. It, it was almost like a script, you know? Okay, so... Every now and again, you get a real tough dude. Like, um, wrestlers would come in that also had boxing. That was in for a oh, long yeah. time. Yeah. I got in a scrap one time with this guy. About 42 minutes, I finally submitted the guy. But, oh, my God. This guy really was coming at me. And it was yeah. a long... 42 minutes, the guy... He was so big and powerful, I just couldn't do anything to him. But here's the power of jujitsu: he couldn't do anything to me. Mm, a couple yes. bruises, a couple bumps, but nothing serious, you know. And I eventually choked him to sleep. So, you know. Okay. In in reality, if that was a real fight, he mm-hmm. would have died. I would have lived. He would have what? He would have died, and I would have lived. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Of course, because that's. There's, there's no, you know, like if it was a life and death thing, then you would have had to, you know, essentially finish them off, right? And that choke in itself, that's that's what a choke represents, essentially. And the only thing we agreed to do was not uh, poke each other eye and bite. Yeah, because that's like permanent damage, right? So I yeah, mean, I mean, at I least you have to have that gentleman's agreement. Get mm-hmm. my ear, or not, my nose bit off or something, you know. But everything else went punching the balls, grabbing here, you know bending fingers he tried to bend my fingers when i got a choke on but you know i i knew how to hide my fingers 
you know. I, I bent his thumb really bad at one point. <laughs> <laughs> it was a fight, dude. It was a fight, man. But yeah, 